Gents, welcome to the Man That Can Project podcast. I'm really, really uh, excited for this short, sharp one today. And it's something a little different and maybe you guys will enjoy it. Why well, I'm sure you will because uh, we're getting all of the listeners involved. And today I've got uh, Justin asking in a question, which is really cool. Obviously, uh, I was only just saying to the missus before, it feels like I'm constantly replying to messages and I'm super grateful that I get the opportunity to, but I also know um, it's becoming really a, quite a challenge. I feel like once I've got through all my responding to all the uh, Facebook messages, then the Instagram inbox is full and then I go through and do that. And, you know, then I've got to start all over again on the, um, you know, Facebook and then I've got to, my clients and it's uh it's a challenge because i do want to get back to everyone but i'm noticing that i'm you know a week behind with messages and stuff like that so i thought why not just get uh, people to voice note me their questions so if you're listening uh, and you follow me on instagram at lachlan stewart or at the man that can project just voice note your questions and then i can do a podcast about it or do my best to cover a few questions on podcasts uh so that we can help more people because i'm you know there's definitely some common questions out there and uh, obviously listening to this one it's uh i'm recording it wednesday the 18th getting it prepped for tomorrow morning um but very excited for what we've got coming on monday so if you're not a member of the free facebook group jump into the free facebook group because registrations are going to open for what this is and it is a free thing i'm not going to give too much away but it is going to be game changing and I've, as i mentioned in a post i put out yesterday i've spent over a hundred thousand dollars on my own personal growth from leadership to communication to um, understanding relationships and sales and marketing all these various tools and tricks and tips and i'm excited to uh provide something that i know is going to help you make better decisions help you create more direction for your life and grow into the men that you know you can become so remember, head over to the Man That Can Project, the group on Facebook and click join and you'll be updated on Monday. Anyway, that's enough for me. Make sure you are, if you're tuning in for the first time, you hit like or follow, whichever it allows you to do. Share this episode. And yeah, like I said, um, if you do have questions and you, know, you may have messaged me in the past and I haven't managed to get back to you, just leave me a voice note. Um, because obviously I can respond to you through that, but I also would love to use it on the, the podcast as well. But let's hit today's question. It'll be short and sharp. So if you're driving, this will be short and sharp. G'day, Lockie. Um, just after your thoughts on time management or uh, any sort of, sort of advice you have on how to improve time management. Sweet. So for those who uh, heard that one, Obviously, coming through from Justin around time management and how to improve, I'm just going to write that down, how to improve time management. So I'll give you short and sharp um, the process that I would use. And if someone were working with me uh, one-on-one or if we were doing this in the strong of value, what I would look at, and I'd probably break it down into three things. And these are three things that I've just written since listening to that message. First and probably the most important is working out what your non-negotiables are or your priorities. So when we look at your non-negotiables, we look at the things that you know have to get done, right? You, you couldn't live without them or you couldn't function in, in your way of life without them. So they might be things like obviously eating, sleeping, for me, exercise, work. Um, if you've got children looking after children, you know, what are the non-negotiables that you have got to commit to and i think as you're going through this journey of self-improvement and becoming a high performer like you guys are who are are listening to this your non-negotiables will get very more specific and you may even add a few more to where you're at right now because i think you know as i mentioned those ones there um some of you might only have right let's just um eat sleep work that's what we're doing right now. And for me, that would be like a survival way of living in my, in my, from my experience, right? So when we're looking at thriving, it's like, okay, well, some non-negotiables need to be around ways that are going to make you better, but also help your lifestyle grow, right? So it might be non-negotiable date nights. It might be exercising daily. It might be um, making time for a morning routine daily, which may involve meditation, reading, 
or you know various other things like that it might be having scheduled time to catch up with your mates it might be having time to work on your business right it might you know so start thinking about those because they will come into your life but obviously as your non-negotiable list gets built right and if you have five things awesome put them in your calendar when are you uh giving time to them right so if I were to say, you know, every morning I wake up at four, four till five is my morning routine time. I eat, well, I don't actually eat, that's a lie, depending on the time, but I have my coffee, I uh, read, I meditate, I stretch, and then I do my journal or my um, 12-week game plan, right? So there, that's a part of my non-negotiables. I have my exercise time in there. I have my work time when I'm with clients. I have my podcast availability times, which is normally Friday afternoons. Um, I have times with clients. I have times when I'm reading. What else have I got over here that I've got in there? Uh, even, I even put travel time in there because I, you can't avoid travel. So I think a lot of people, when they build out their days, they uh, forget to account for travel, right? And I utilize my travel time either with podcasting, like listening to podcasts and growing or making phone calls, right? Because that's something that I, I do as a part of my business. So what can you do to maximize your time, right? So think about your non-negotiables list. So write down, five to 10 things that you think are very important to you and maybe just even put them in list of a list of order of priorities. Um, secondly, this one is so much easier said than it is done and it's say no. Once you get clear on your non-negotiables and your priorities and obviously you should have a vision or uh, a set of goals that you're working towards, anything that doesn't fit inside those non-negotiables is a choice, right? It's almost like a luxury is the way I would look at it. So if it's, you know, people are asking for your time or event, an event, sorry, pops up or, you know, you want to do this, that and the other, ask yourself, is this moving me further towards where I want to be? And or is this, if, is saying yes to this, what am I sacrificing? So an example might be, you know, if you choose to stay up late one night to watch Netflix and part of your morning routine is to get up early in the morning, right? but because you stay up later, you choose to hit the snooze button, then that's just robbed you of an hour tomorrow, which is really important to you because it's, it's the morning routine or it might be your gym time or uh, whatever that is. So we need to be really mindful when you're uh, living our life and the, the things that we choose to do because what is the opportunity cost or what is the cost of saying yes to this? And you know, it becomes bad. It becomes a problem, right? When you're saying yes to things that aren't adding value to life, which is what most people do. They say yes to everything or they do overtime. They do this, that, and the other. And they go, I never have time to read a book. I never have time to spend with my partner. And it's like, well, hold up. Let's just wind it back a bit. A bit. So let's look at your non-negotiables. Let's look at where your time's going. And if you aren't chunking your time, uh, make sure you start doing that. Um, you need to start saying no to more, more stuff. You may feel bad at the start, but it's like any muscle. The more you flex it, the more you'll nail it. Okay. So start practicing saying no. And if you aren't quite sure what you want to say no to, just say no to everything until you start with a blank fucking slate and it's just work and uh, family time and maybe some time to read and then slowly add things into your day or into your week. The final one is be efficient with your time, right? If you chunk your time, for example, like I've got um, today I had 90 minutes for training and within that 90 minutes, I allow, allowed for travel time, right? It's around 15 minutes each way. So it gives me about an hour, but I just put, put that time there. I have to get my training done in that hour if I want to maximize the time. Now, the better you get at being efficient with your time and you really want it to be intentional and maximize it, I go in to the gym, for example, with in the intention that I don't have time to chit chat today. I don't have time to scroll on social media. I don't have time to take videos today uh, because of the time that I've given myself and the intention that I'm going in for is, is for a performance reason that I need to maximize that hour. So if someone's trying to talk to me, right, during that period of time, I just say, hey, look, mate, I, I'd love to stay and chat or I'd love to have a conversation. However, um, I've only got limited time to get this workout in. So because I... Um, have chunked my time prior to it, and I know why I'm, um, you know, why I'm doing the gym. Why I've got, you know, I've, I'm just looking at my diary over here. Sorry for those who are watching on YouTube. But where, what I, um, what my intention is for each of these meetings, I can go into that um, 
with an expectation and a standard of how I'm going to handle that should something arise, which could steal my focus, which happens, right? That's, that's life. And especially obviously as the gym is gym as an example, sorry. Um, it's a, it's a social environment, right? Because there, there's, there's going to be a lot of people there that are, you know, wanting to have a chat while you're at the water fountain or um, chat in between their own sets. So just be mindful with that and, and set a standard, right? Some days you'll go in there and the intention might be just to move and, and have a chat, right? Which is fine. So that's why I think it's important to set an intention because then you can learn to really be efficient with your time. And for anyone out there, you know, who has multiple meetings a day, uh, much like myself, I don't allow the meetings to run over because you need to be efficient with your time. And, you know, there's obviously always exceptions, right? And for me, if a, a client is, needs, needs something that, has to be dealt with in that moment, then I'll allow for that. But more often than not, if I know that I've got a five minute walk to my next meeting or um, someone's coming and I need to prep something quickly, like I'll end the meeting at, you know, 11.55 or whatever it is. So I've got that moment to recalibrate, refocus and reset my intention for the next hour. So be efficient with your time. If you say you're going to train for an hour, train for an hour. If you say you're going to read for 15 minutes, read for 15 minutes. Start setting time as if you really struggle with that and if you get distracted, right? Set, a, set an alarm on your phone or a countdown timer and utilize that, right? Understand that there are more distractions being thrown at us than ever before. And I can acknowledge that and I can be aware of that. So I think it's a good thing to be mindful of is to be, just be aware of that, right? And now that you're aware of that, go, okay, well, if the chances of me running over are high, set an alarm, set a reminder, set a timer, whatever I need to go, boom, 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 and break my um, focus so that I go, oh, that's what I said, I've got to go to the next thing. So the three things that I would recommend, guys, is obviously making a list of the non-negotiables or your priorities or even putting those non-negotiables in a order of priorities. And if it's not a priority, say no to it. Right? Like I said, you're better off to say no to more so that you have free time to add things in then still say you know yes to everything and not have time to do the things that are important to you that are actually going to move your life forward um and then also be efficient with your time so be intentional with how you're utilizing that time right? what do you want to get out of it are you being uh, accounting for um travel time etc and are you running over so really learn to those focus on those three things now gents I would love to have more questions from you from voice notes. I get a heap written. So if you want me to answer them on the podcast, just voice note them to me, whether it's through Instagram, whether it's through Facebook, uh, and then I'll be able to throw them into podcast episodes <clears throat> just so you can get your questions answered. And I know they'll be able to help uh, answer other people. Now, if you found this one helpful, share it to someone that you know, or even just share it on your social medias and um, share me, tell me one takeaway from it and tag the man that can project in at Lockie Stewart as well. And I'll give it a little reshare. So thank you guys for tuning in. Glad you liked the episode. And I look forward for you guys to listen into the next one.